So June 1st, it was the official start of hurricane season. Maybe you've heard you need to get hurricane prepared, you know, get your kits together, review evacuation plans. But what about your insurance policy? Don't fret. Here to help is Director of Insurance for uh, AAA, Tidewater, Leah Hunger. Thank you for being here. Yeah, sure. Uh, Leah, let's first talk about what type of insurance people should have ahead of hurricane season. Okay, so you should certainly want to cover insurance on any home that you live in, whether okay. you own the home or you rent the home. Okay. You want to look into flood insurance, okay. um, have coverage for waters that are rising, and obviously insurance for your automobile. Okay. What are some good questions to ask when you call about insurance, these types of insurances? Yeah, a good question is about the deductible for these storms. Okay. Um, what the deductible is called, um, the percentage of that deductible, they can range from 1% upwards to 5% and when those deductibles are imposed by your insurance carrier. Okay, why is it important, I know it is, to do this ahead of time before hurricane season rolls around? Right, because once we have a storm on the radar, a lot of these insurance companies pose moratoriums and then you won't be able to buy new coverage, lower your deductibles, or make changes to your policy at that time. Okay, let's go over one more time the three, you mentioned three different types of insurance people should have ahead of yeah, time. Yeah, so homeowner, whatever home that you live in, whether yeah. you own the home, rent the home, you want to make sure you have coverage for that. Get insurance on your automobile and then obviously flood insurance um, okay. because these areas are prone to flooding. Okay, should everyone in the area be thinking about flood insurance or just specifically to be, you know, where they live? Yeah, so everyone where we live um, is in a flood zone, whether you're in a low risk flood zone or a high risk flood zone. Sure. Um, so you should all know what kind of flood zone that you're in and you can find that through um, floodsmart.gov and you can get more information on that through the FEMA website. All right, Leah Hunger with AAA Tidewater. Thank you so Great. much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. Appreciate your time.